For this next shot, we're going to demonstrate an arterial blood gas, uh, as you would do in an exam. There are some dummies which can simulate uh, this sort of procedure. Um, to do an arterial blood gas, um, you obviously need the patient's consent. Um, and one of the things you need to do is to check that the patient's got adequate um, blood supply in the hand before you think about doing the procedure. So one of the tests you can do is just palpate the radial artery. It's easily palpable there. You can also palpate the ul ulnar artery. And there's something called an Allen's test where, Ben, can you just clench your fist very tightly for me? Tight, clench tightly, tightly, tightly. And just open your fist out for me. As you can see, the fist is very wide. If I release the ulnar artery, you can see Ben's fist um, then well fuses very easily. And that is whilst I've occluded the radial artery. It's a very nice demonstration of a normal Allen's test. That means that um, essentially he's got a good collateral ulnar blood supply. Um, there's a small risk of less than one in a thousand of causing damage to the radial artery while doing any procedures, such as an arterial blood gas or um, uh, putting an arterial line in, for example. Okay, so to do the procedure, what we need to do is firstly just clean an area of skin. Okay, and that's nice and so clean that area now. Okay. This is the blood gas itself. They come in lots of different forms. This one's pre-filled with heparin, so I'm going to squirt the heparin out and then attach it to the needle that comes in with a blood gas kit. Also, okay. Again, I'm just going to palpate the area that I'm going to go in. And using your fingers, you need to just palpate the maximum area of blood flow from the artery. Now, the easy thing to remember is that um, you should really try and palpate the absolute tip of the pulsation so you can get right in the middle. So, in this situation, you could feel sort of from the side, but what I'm doing is actually pressing vertically downwards to feel the exact point of maximal pulsation. Okay. So I've got that point just there. And I'm just going to clean the area. I'm not going to put my fingers around the site that the needle is going to go into. I'm just going to palpate near the artery site. Now, whilst I'm palpating the, um, the radial artery, I don't want to press too hard. If I press too hard, I'll actually occlude the artery and then you won't be able to do the blood gas test. So I'm going to press actually quite lightly to localise the, um, localize the radial artery. Um, I'm actually going to hold the blood gas a little bit like um, a pencil, as you can see. Um, and I'm just going to rest my wrist on Ben's hand just to steady um, the artery, just to steady the syringe so I've got a nice stable point for actually doing the procedure itself. So palpating gently over the artery and you know you're in the artery when you see the actual flashback and this is a self-filling blood gas syringe and you should see quite nice in just a second. So I, I'm going to do this at 45 degrees and I'm going to check my hand and I'm going to go um, into the skin perpendicular at 90 degrees. So I'm going to go in nicely just straight down into the radial artery. So again palpating just with the tips of my fingers Relocate it. It's just there. Okay, so just going to feel a sharp scratch in just a second. Sharp scratch coming up. Well done. Now, what I've done here is I've gone just to the, um, I think I've probably gone just to the left of the radial artery, so I'm just going to withdraw the, withdraw the syringe and just aim in a slightly different angle towards the artery. It's the normal thing you should do in this situation. And if at first you don't succeed in getting the radial pulse, in getting the radial artery, you should just withdraw the syringe. What we do now is just get rid of a little bit of blood from just around that area. Just relocate. As you can see. The syringe now is self-filling because it's inside the radial artery. And the syringe will just fill up slowly. So 
with this situ with this um, procedure, um, as you um, as you go into the radial artery, a lot of the syringes will actually self fill. What I'm going to do now is put a little bit of pressure over that area. That's the arterial gas sample. As you can see, it's a nice red colour, and that signifies it's oxygenated blood. I'm just going to put that to one side. The important thing to do is to put a lot of pressure over these samples because it's a, an arterial sample. What I tell patients to do is to put the hand behind it and press with the thumb firmly over the over the um, over the artery. Now, with this, to actually get the to actually get the syringe to get the needle off, you can just untwist the needle as so, and then if you pop the cap onto the syringe. This can then be taken straight to a blood gas analyzer and you'll have the results in 30 or 40 seconds.